Hey ladies, how y'all doing? Welcome back. Excuse the aroma. But anyways, have a seat. I got something to speak about y'all. Speak on um, speak to y'all about also. While I take a sip of this cranberry. Alright. Now women. Y'all need to know when to leave these abusive relationships. Like, y'all have a gift and a curse. And that gift and the curse is loyalty. Y'all are loyal by default. And what comes with that is sometimes y'all be in a relationship uh, and you don't know when to leave. Because you trying to be loyal. You trying to make it work. You know? And it's to the point where, sis, you don't need to be trying. You need to get gone. For real. Your mental health and your physical health is in jeopardy. And you out here trying to save him. And he out here abusing you. That, that ain't right. That ain't right at all. Know when to leave. And not only know when, uh, and, and another thing that go with that, I don't know when to leave because some of y'all women, y'all got men in your family, friends that arrive for you. I'm talking about that shit, the whole block down behind you. And y'all go cry to them, leaning all on that shoulder, talking about how he ain't this, he ain't doing that, he put his hands on me. And then whoever that man is, he go get active towards your boyfriend but you don't leave. Like, y'all got the game kind of messed up, yo. Coming from me and my personal experience, I got three nieces. I'm an uncle. One of my nieces hit me up because, you know, her boyfriend put, um, put hands on her. So I pulled up, correct that, corrected him, sorry. Uh, and after I corrected him, she left. That's how it's supposed to go down. Now, if that's the pattern, then everything good. You know what I'm saying? You you come, you meet a dude, he abusive. You tell you tell your family member, whoever you run to, he check the chis um, he check the situation. And you move on to the next one. If it happen again, you get get a man to come check the situation. He go check the situation. Then you leave. But for the ones that ain't leaving. That dude ain't gonna keep checking that same dude that you not leaving, yo. And he shouldn't. That's not that's not how that work. That's not how that work at all. That that guy that you run to go end up telling you, nah, we ain't doing that. Cause you're not learning. You still stand there. Why well, look like beating up on this man? Getting my blood pressure worked up, putting my life in uh in jeopardy. Because a fight can can lead to other things if they don't know how to take that air. You feel me? Like when you go fight somebody, you gotta prepare to go extra miles because you don't know who you're dealing with. So you got me putting my life uh, on the line for a nigga that you can't leave alone. That's crazy, and that and, and it's not supposed to be like that. So y'all need to know when to leave. All right. And another thing, if y'all in and out all these relationships, and all these goddamn relationships is abusive, it's something about you that you need to change. Yeah, I said it because in every situation ain't got a certain level of, of accountability. So goddamn, you gotta hold yourself accountable. What is it about you? Something that you doing, or or just how you operate? Attracting all these abusive ass men. Like, come on. And then by you dealing with so many uh abusive men, I know you see the signs. I know you see the signs before it actually happened. Cause you you, you I ain't gonna say I don't want to say you used to it. I don't never wanna say that. But you 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 familiar. 
You know, like you know, you know what traits come with them type uh, men. So I know you see it before it happened. Come on, man, you're not that slow. I refuse to believe that you're that slow. That loyalty shit get you in trouble. One, one, one thing about uh, men and women, yo. A woman, she gonna stay loyal even when she don't need to. She ain't supposed to. She supposed to be in love. She still wanna be loyal. Men, we not about to endure all that stuff y'all women be enduring. Hell no, nah, that shit ain't right. Motherfucker ain't getting right. We dipping. For real. And then the ones that's not really leaving they woman that's fucked up, they cheating on them, so they're like they leaving any goddamn way. Like, come on, man. Learn from us. We learn from y'all. Learn from us. Man is not a man is not taking all that stuff that y'all take. He gonna he gonna he gonna check it, try to resolve it. The shit don't change. He will ask himself one question: Can I deal with this for the rest of my life? The answer to that question is no. He gonna dismiss himself. Period. There ain't gonna be no goddamn thirty nights and thirty days of crying to your friend, asking her for advice. What should you do? Getting beat up four, five goddamn times, getting embarrassed in front of your family and shit. Like, what man you know go through that? So why are you going through that? Come on, man. Be smarter than that. That's crazy. But men and women as a whole, man, we got we got we gotta learn how to love each other properly, man. For real. And Everything that I'm saying is not only, it don't only go for like certain people. It go for all men and women, no matter their family, friends, stranger, whatever. It go for all people, yo. We gotta love each other better. And it should be evident, it should be evident that we need to love each other better because the way that we've been loving each other during these past times isn't working. That shit wrong than a motherfucker. All these damn divorces, motherfucker, ain't lasting now, yo. Come on, man. Getting married just for money and shit on the come up. Man, who the fuck get married for a couple weeks? Or a couple months? And then divorced. And they done did it like three times. Like, come on, man. Stop playing with it. Y'all, man, y'all, y'all better get right. Y'all better get right, man. Y'all better learn how to love everybody, man. And I ain't say take everything and be goddamn naive and all that crazy shit, but mutual respect and common courtesy. That's what it is. Mutual respect, common courtesy. If you can do both of those, man, everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. That's the bare minimum. So you telling me we out here, we can't do the bare minimum? Ugh. No. That's not how it go, man. That's not how it go, yo. Motherfuckers out here can't even do the bare minimum. Bro, that's crazy. But I'm glad that I got y'all here. I hope that y'all listen, listen to understand, and not listen to respond. But I will listen to your response. No, we can have that conversation. Meet me in the comments. Front page, front, excuse me, front porch conversations. It is me. I am him. He is me. Yeah. David Javon answer in a second, and we gone. Get your mind right.